Hey guys and welcome on this video. Today we are gonna make something different. A friend asked me to make an outdoor sign to get people to his bed and breakfast. His only request was a solar powered light because there is no power nearby. This build began by ripping a pine shelf into the required size board. I do this because there is no standard lumber who fit my needs. To do this I firstly mark the width of my saw, then check and square a straight edge on both ends. The sign is composed of three main parts, two identical legs and a box with the text and the light. The pieces I cut here are the side of the box. I first cut the width and then the length. Next I cut the top and bottom of the box using the guide of my circular saw. This project was deeply inspired by Jimmy DeResta's sign videos and I choose to cut the letters through the wood and backlighting them through acrylic. So now I'm placing the letter on the place to trace the shapes. I check each letter with a square and place them by eyes. I decide to cut the letter on paper using a plotter because I own one, but that's one of the many ways of doing this kind of task. As I said before, I've had to cut the letter and a jigsaw is my only option. And maybe because I own a cheap one with a standard blade, this make not so precise cuts. But anyway, I managed to get the job done. These letters are not so complex shape, I have just to be careful with the inside part of the B and the O. And I had to do this two times and not forget to mirror it to be sure each arrow point the same direction. And eventually I sanded all the parts with 80 and 120 grit, I don't want it super smooth as it is an outdoor project. Next I assemble the legs using glue and screws. As I don't want to see the screw head, I first drill a hole using the crack bit to inset the screws. They will be plugged later. Here you see me assembling the legs using wood glue, screws and clamps to be sure everything is tight. And now you see me making a ton of sawdust. I do this because I need to close the top of the leg parts but don't want to see the end grain of any parts. So I freehand the rabbit and it turned out pretty well. As you see, the fit is very tight so it's perfect. I trim them off camera and add a chamfer for aesthetic reason. Here I'm making groove on the inside of the box to accept the central divider because I don't want to fit through the acrylic on each side. The divider also serves to attach the LED strip on. And the last step I filmed was me cutting the acrylic. Then I realized I was late on my shadow and forget to turn on the camera while I do the rest of the assembly. I also don't film the finishing steps but I use an exterior graded oil based varnish and I apply three cuts to be sure the wood is enough protected or at least for a couple of years. And here is some shot of the final product installed. Hope you like this video and see you on the next one. Bye.